You know what? So I could Jones be family vacation. Mrs. Seriously? Jones, Mrs. J I'm, I am Christian or Junior if they would just let me do my thing. Oh my. <laughs> So we stopped in to pick up Seth Jones, past client, introduced me to several other NHL guys that I've sold to. He was here in town on the Predators and got traded away, but still had an investment property here. We just sold that and now he's going to put his money into some Airbnb properties. So we're going to look at several projects throughout town and uh, I think he's going to make a decision before we wrap up today. Yeah. A lot of people thought that little high-rise deal there didn't fit, you know? But I think Jordan, it's a Jordan's perfect. It's nice. Yeah, we have someone uh, we know is living there. Jordan. Jordan, you know Jordan. Is, yeah. yeah, I know Jordan. He's yeah, yeah, so he's, we just walked through like the pool area up there and stuff. Oh, that's cool. They did it right there for sure. Like people are like, that's just so too tall. It's too tall so for Green Hills. Yeah. yeah. But, you know, it's, it's gotta expand, it's gotta change. Exactly. There's this really sick place up on the other hill mm -hmm. and it's built in such a way that you can be in the pool look through the house and you can see that building so it's oh, almost really? like you kind of get yeah through the house That's but awesome. you kind of you're in green hills right but yeah. you get a little bit of city vibe because you can see one it's for sale yeah it's like in process and i took a few of the guys through there and they're just like it's too big yeah no one really nobody wants anything no that wants massive that big, yeah especially a hockey player like, it's crazy so the question is, can we sell it in five days? The answer is yes! Yeah. <laughs> There's two people that I use all the time, and this is the one I use the most because it's not quite mm -hmm. as high dollar, mm -hmm. but she really gets it done. Yeah, this is like, yeah. somebody needs to come get this. I remember, that's our old uh, entertainment center. Yeah. <laughs> At some point, like, I told the stagers, I said, hey, I think they want to go, you know, like, take it down. And they were like, okay, we put a note on it, take it to the garage. They, like, totally didn't. They just stuck <laughs> it in here. <laughs> right here. Like, we're done. And this is mom painting cake. Mom paint. I remember that. I hung the curtain. Yeah, the corners and stuff were a little iffy. A little messy. <laughs> <laughs> Every time. Like yeah. Yeah. She's like, I'll come get it in a couple of weeks. Okay. I want to make sure we get through all the inspections. No. Yeah. Everything's wrapped up. And we should be done with that <laughs> in the next week. So okay. once we get past that, they'll come get it out in a day. I just didn't want to incur no 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 and she'll always she always asks me before they re-up it too uh, every okay, every okay. month okay, so okay. but i i haven't sent her the text yet because sometimes they're really efficient mm -hmm. and then if something happened on you know people flaked out you never know yeah. so like cool like all right all right well, let's go take a look at some properties <laughs> Go look at that place that Victor was talking to you about. Okay, yeah. Hold on, let me get the address. Yeah. Sick. Like, sep he's, like his and foot was septic. A staph infection. Yeah. yeah wow. It's a 3115 Bellwood Street. It's It was funny to connect with him because, mm -hmm. like, honestly, I met him because I started doing all this. Oh, really? Yeah. Like, he started following all my like media stuff yeah and then we just like started talking and he was still playing there, there was still mm -hmm. in the season yeah it's like yeah i'm almost done I'll, I'll hook up with you when i get back and so as soon as he got back over here we went and met had coffee and yeah, started talking about stuff really taking off and stuff yeah he's got a lot of guys in his in his program and he's doing well i didn't know he'd started a company or well, yeah, he's kind of like a he's kind of like a financial advisor, but specifically for like property investment. Yeah, he's good with numbers. He he's is always kind of like the, the savvy guy. Yeah, on the team when, when I play with him and stuff. But it's been cool because like I I put a couple of well the shore guys I put them mm -hmm. into a deal that I knew about that yeah. he didn't know about, and then he told me about this stuff over on Greystone. Yeah, 
so it's like it's been cool because we've kind of been going back and forth and then uh, we're working on a bigger development deal with 24 units mm -hmm. that yeah, it was yeah bit it's gonna be cool it was like some land that I knew about and I was like hey if we can put together the right program we could just do it and mm -hmm. do it for clients that we have yeah. rather than sell them just put clients into the deal and so there's 20 Smart. 24 units right now and we haven't closed on the land yet and he's already got 11 guys committed to out of the 24 to or, do it uh, yeah I think <laughs> I know I think that I think that yeah if, and we can go by the um, by the site when we get done over here yeah. I'll show you where it's gonna be because the upside is when when they do these developments a lot of the time it's for kind of residential use first mm -hmm. and then they adapt them you know so you yeah, get yeah. wasted space you get master closets that are too big or mm -hmm. dining areas that are too big or whatever and I've met with a couple of the the property managers that Vic uses and some other guys in town and a lot of times those guys don't get involved until somebody's already bought it exactly and so now we're trying to bring them in to consult on the front end mm -hmm. so that at the beginning we're thinking about okay what's the most efficient use of space yeah. so that they function better and we're not having to build square footage that we don't need it's just mm -hmm. really effective So, you know, it's kind of townhouse feel, yeah, high ceilings. Sure. It's really vertical the way you set it up. Mm -hmm. But for short-term rental, it's really great because there's, yeah. it's really low maintenance. There's like no footprint of anything. It's just mm -hmm. literally this garage and you're straight up. Yeah, yeah. And you know, it's West End, Lo location's good. And that, like I say, that the right side one is like almost identical. Uh -huh. That's the one he's gonna let go of in the... Yeah, it's a tandem, which, you know, yeah. most people are Ubering anyway. It's like, it's almost like the garage spaces don't matter. Yeah. Nice for storage and stuff too. Yeah. For sure, Ubering. Okay. Let's see. Yeah. The two beds? Yeah. That's right. Pack them in. Like great Airbnb. Oh, okay. So it's like shotgun style master bath. Yeah. Workout. So one of the things this doesn't have is that kind of upper level rec room space. Uh -huh. yeah. Doesn't have a fourth bedroom. And it doesn't have any kind of deck, so yeah. it's kind of like you know, location. it's good location. Yeah. And you know, they took the master, put two beds in there, so mm -hmm. you know, you can sleep more people, but it doesn't have quite as much flexibility as the bigger ones. Right. Yeah. Right, and you can still have a pretty good sized group here. Yeah, you know, well. that's the deal. Oh yeah. That's the big win is can we can we bring our big group and all stay together and feel exactly. comfortable? Yeah, you can hold eight people. Oh yeah. Well, and the thing is, girls like will double and triple up too. Oh. That's what's crazy. Yeah, that's no girl, girls. You know, it's like a bachelor party. Right. Right. Yeah. Right. Party. Girls, you've right. got five or six people right here. That's right. <laughs> yeah. And then you got two beds. Two beds. Down there, I mean, that's what I mean. You've got eight, ten people. Yeah. Like yeah. Easy with girls. I mean, six beds. That's why the big ones, the ones that have four beds plus like a bunk room. It's like, there'll be 20 girls in there. Yeah. Seriously. Yeah. I mean, it's like they're not supposed to, and you don't advertise for that, but it's like, they'll start analyzing what we can do we with the floor space. Well, for sure. And like the property manager guys have told me, you know, we'll go respond to like, something's not working. There'll be 25 girls in there. He's like, it's crazy. They're just like yeah. on top of each oh, other, yeah. you know? Yeah, and so that's why it's like, when it's a lot of space and a lot of rooms, but the boys, they'll like, even like if you can have a bachelor party with five guys, like, this is perfect. Right. You can make this work. For sure. Absolutely. Well, even guys that get drunk will pass out on them. <laughs>
Did you make him go to the rink today, or him? What? <laughs> yeah, they continue to develop some of these sites over here, partly because of the zoning. There's been some zoning changes just in the last week, and so it's like you got to stay on top of you know what's appropriately zoned and make sure we get permits, and that way you can get grandfathered because as they continue to make changes it's like the ones that have the appropriate zoning long term you know that's what oh, carries yeah. the value right. I wonder if he's got some water dry and choked this one I'm not operating the appropriate nope that one does that there he goes Actually, let's go to 2001 Convent Place first. Convent? I'm going to take uh, a second. We'll go by where the shores are buying, mm -hmm. I showed you, mm -hmm. because that's the concept for the Charlotte site that we're developing. Okay. So that way you guys can see kind of what it will look like, the type of buildings. Got it. Okay. And, and then we'll go to the site of where it is. Yeah. I mean, that's nice. You're right off West End, too. Yeah, I mean, anything inside the loop right now, yeah. that's the deal. It's like, if you're in that kind of proximity and people are able to Uber in 5 to 10, exactly. that's what most people are trying to measure against. Five They're like, can I, can I get down to Broadway in 10? Yeah. And they're usually good. Mm -hmm. How's Germantown? Are they redoing all that down there too? Yeah, so bits and pieces that's going in. There's a guy that's actually doing an Airbnb hotel uh, okay. that he's going to sell the individual units mm -hmm. but like the entire property will be um, Airbnb, Airbnb zone sure. and yeah. you can do connecting doors okay. so that's like um, it's like two streets over from like actual Germantown mm -hmm. okay. so that's one of the new things that's happening down there so this is it yeah so ah, the site is such a mess mm -hmm. but basically you can tell it's it's really vertical. It's mm -hmm. right at 2,000 square feet. You've got a bedroom and a bath on the main floor, and then you kind of have the open living area, and then you go up and you've got another two bedrooms, and you go up one more floor, and there's like a fourth bedroom loft. Yeah. And then it does like a on like a rooftop downtown or? rooftop. Yeah. On that In fact, side. Yeah. You want to get? You want to try or no? Let's just matter. let's wade into it. Just I just want you to see just a little bit of how they set up because we're doing almost the same floor plan. Okay. We're doing 24 almost identical to this. It'll be a one car garage just like this. And so this is like oh. bedroom one, small bath, really efficient, you know? Yeah. It's like think hotel suite type bedrooms, you know? They're just small, but nice they get it done. Mm-hmm. Space is always, like storage space is always important. Right. So, obviously it's kitchen, living, dining, right? Yeah. But what Vic and I have been talking about is maybe having this space converted to another bedroom. So basically it draws in right here. And so then you've got another bedroom with a door. And so, because their attitude is on a lot of their units, people don't really use the dining. Mm -hmm. So they make, they just put like a small living area and this just functions as kitchen and living. Yeah. And then you're able to use the loft space as more of a recreation instead of a bunk room. A lot of times they're doing like queen bunk beds. Yeah. For real. Yeah. And sometimes they're even doing queen bunk beds with like a pull out trundle too. I mean, it's like lots of people. They even do like the murky wall. Yeah, yeah, for real. Because people are just. It might be nice downstairs because you don't take up all that space. Well, people have a crash mentality, you know, it's like. How many people can crash together? Yeah. Sure you can. Yeah, for sure. Or a pull out, you know? Yeah. Or sofa bed. Sofa, yeah. So. This is nice right out here. This could be made really cool. Yeah. 
So we're trying to hit all of these elements on the site that we're doing. Right, I agree. I agree. Instead of having to go all, if they're hanging out at here, yep. this is the rec room. Yes. Not to have to go down three stories. I 100% agree. So these units on this side with the view were 724. Mm -hmm. And they're just at 2,000 square feet. So it was a lot of money per foot, mm -hmm. but it's location and function, right? right. So the ones that we're doing on the Charlotte site, where we're going next, we're pricing them at six. So it's not quite in no, this It's area. not quite as close, area, yeah. but the views are better actually, believe it or not, because of the way the site sets up. Yeah. And long term, it's better zoning because it's on a commercial. Mm -hmm. So right. that's long term. That's the last thing they're ever going to outlaw for mm -hmm. short term rental, because that's what it is. Mm -hmm. It's a commercial Maybe enterprise. If that over here. Then you fall back on you've got the university right. the kids that right. come in Redford. And and your grandfather your grandfather once you have it, you know, so oh, in the awesome. short term. Right. So you can do anything. They don't take it away, it usually just goes away when it sells, you know, to the next next owner. Right. Let everybody hydrate. So now we'll go to um, 3312 Charlotte. Let's think about some of those condo buildings. They just hit like a peak and then they just start to go down because they can't keep the building competitive, you know, long term. Yeah. I don't remember happened to that. Oh, remember we tried to get the uh, place in twelve twelve there, and the guy swooped in on us. Yep. Yeah. That day. That day. That day. Yeah. I couldn't believe that. Yeah. And you could lease that one and everything too. It had the oh, permit. Too. Yeah, it had yeah. The, the the permit that was going to be able to convey because that tenant was just coming with it. He was he wanted to stay. Yeah. That was. That was a disappointment. You're too busy. You don't sign fast enough. Yeah, we, I was signing the same day. <laughs> and it must have just been like full ask, clean deal, mm -hmm. because they just took it. Hey, it's everything we asked for. We're just going to do it. Yeah, that's yeah. my guess. And that's why it was like, we're not going to circle back. Profit. If it had been low, then, then we you would have had a shot too. We were close to getting one, remember? I wanted that. I wanted one of those corner ones so bad, but we're like, no, we're gonna wait for my next deal. Yep. Because it was I had one more yep. year. Yep. And I was like, I don't know if you get. Yeah, you just know if you get traded. Pulling right there. Boom. And then, and then it happened. Even if I bought it, I still would have made a killing on it probably. Yeah, it comes a hundred percent set up, so everything you see conveys with the purchase. So this level has the master. So this is auxiliary bedroom one, and then it's got an ensuite. The sizes are great, and I feel like the finish level is good for what it is, and the location makes a ton of sense. Like I've been in here a few times the last week or so, and they just keep kind of wrapping them up. But it's like totally set up, like washer, dryer, everything. Definitely feels more residential. Well, and pe some people, you know, they want to do laundry for some reason while they're here, so. yeah. We're in the master in the back. Okay. I like this. We are yeah. on another level here. It's like everything that I just feel like checks all the boxes yeah. and we're not overpaying for yeah. location, but it's still a really good location. Mm -hmm. And if I'm walking through pretty long, I'm saying it's well, like And that's why it's like, I, I mean, I'll admit, I got in a little bit of a tr little trouble with, you know, your mother because of the shores getting those other deals. And I was like, yeah. well. That is a good location. It is a good location, yeah. but. Because even if they were to change, you, right. you get the college. But these feel more like a house. Put some little potted plants out here. Oh, make yeah. And make it look. Oh, yeah. You can improve this for sure. Yeah, I know. This thing appears to be sleeper, That's too. Sleeper so you've got another flexible space here. I'm all about durable. Right, right. Sure. Okay. No, you you let perfect. somebody break that and then yeah. you, and then. <laughs> but you could take one of these and turn it into a bunk room if you wanted. Yeah. But it's like there's so much space because you got legit four full bedrooms. It's almost like you don't need a bunk room. No, this is yeah. You know. This is nice. Maximum return on these is letting a company manage it, manage it for yes. you. Yeah. But not agreeing to a flat fee you're still getting the, the highs and lows of the monthly because you really hit those, those premium weekends and that's what really pushes your averages up. So all, the funny thing is, is all this is on 
on like a. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This is going to be the first episode of the, uh, the Jones Family Show. I, I, you know what? So I can be Mrs. Jones. Mrs. Jones. Mrs. Jones. I am Christian or Junior. If they would just let me do my thing. Oh my. Okay, it was see so you. Good seeing you. Good see you. Thank you so much. Yep. 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 See you. Talk soon, bro. Yeah. All right. Thank you. Bye, bye. All right, man. I will get you wrapped up on Woodmont. That was a good day. We found one that uh, definitely fits. Sounds like they're going to get two units there. Also was able to pitch the Charlotte project and I think he's going to be an investor on that one as well. And uh, as you can see, those guys are always a lot of fun to hang out with.